Well, Haley, I think a lot of us use terms, you know, we think we know what something means and then we use it a lot. Well, let, let's just make it personal. I'll talk about me. <laughs> I have a tendency to mostly use the right term. I mostly, mostly. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I always think I know what I'm talking about, and there's this big, you know, it's a smallish section of time, but it, it's really dramatic when it happens, where I will use a term that I think means one thing, mm -hmm. but in fact, most of the time, it means something else, and that something else is kind of sketchy. <laughs> and everybody else is aware that there's this really... Oh my gosh, alternative meeting yeah, to Yeah, to saying? what I'm saying, and I don't realize oh it. I have gosh. no intention of saying that's anything so that's... painful. Yeah, that shouldn't be shared in polite company, but there I am talking yeah. about stuff that makes... No, that's usually what I'm kicking you. Yeah, people are blushing, <laughs> they're embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, you're listening to the Repco Light Home Improvement Show, and we're talking about terms being used incorrectly. That's where I was trying to go with that. And I think one place that we all do that, or at least most of us probably do, is when it comes to the different pieces of trim mm -hmm. in our house. You yeah. know, the anatomy of the trim in the house. I think the architecture in general. We just think we know the words for these things, and we're using a lot of them incorrectly, it turns out. Well, and I know when I had my house and I was working on stuff, and I was working with somebody at our Lakewood store who really knew construction back and sure. forth, and I would come in and I would talk about terms, I'd get so nervous because... Because they're going to point it out if they get it wrong. Right. And, yeah. oh, I didn't know exactly what this was or what that was. Well, anyway, if that's you, if you've ever struggled with, well, what is what, what is, is the door called? jam exactly? Right. Or how about a window stool? Do you know what that is? If you don't know what that is, we're going to give You're you all of those to. answers. Right. We're going to get to that. And it's important because it's always good to know... Yeah, it's nice to a have more. words for things. <laughs> <laughs> it makes communication easier. Yes. All right, so let's start with some easy ones, and then we'll work our way through. And we can't hit all the different pieces of trim. No. Nope. We're going to hit what we thought were kind of our favorites or some of the most interesting ones. So let's just start easy. Crown molding. Crown molding. It's that thing way up there. It's where the wall, wall meets, meets the, the ceiling. ceiling. Right. Generally, or in the past, its whole original purpose was to kind of bridge that or hide that gap where right. the wall met the ceiling. Exactly. In case things weren't perfect there, we'll just put crown up there and, oh, it all looks amazing. That's exactly why I installed any crown in yep. any situation that I ever did. 100%. Because <laughs> I did the other work and I knew it was subpar, but if I could put crown up. Yeah, it's great. You just cock that edge now and it's, it's all beautiful. It's, it's like funny. You knew what you were doing. Yeah, it's funny that I couldn't get the drywall edge just right, but mm -hmm. somehow I figured I could install crown. I know, it's just Without really a problem. Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, it never worked for me, but that was its point. Now it's yes. become very decorative, right. but that's crown molding. All right. Baseboards. Really easy. Yeah. It's floor trim. It's the trim down exactly. there. Right. It, Where and the it does, wall meets the floor. And again, it just hides the gap. Right. That's its main point originally. And of course, there's practical other practical reasons, too. It protects your walls from getting well, kicked sure, yeah. or scuffed by the vacuum if you're one of those people who vacuum. I mean, everybody vacuums, <laughs> just not as often as other people. If you're one of those people who vacuums. <laughs> I vacuum a lot, and people think that's ridiculous. I love lines. No, no, I think vacuuming often is a good practice. I don't yeah. empty the vacuum very often. I like to see Oof. how full that oh, bag no. can get. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's got to be oh. emptied when the dust is pouring out. No! Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so baseboards. Let's get back to the important stuff, Haley. How about base cap? Not base camp, base cap, which is what autocorrect wanted to do in my notes, but it's base <laughs> cap. And I, this was one where I was really dumb. I wasn't aware that this was out there. I didn't actually know it was called something different, but I've always known that I love it. I live in an older house, and when we were doing our design event, I wanted to emulate the trim that I've got going on. Great big trim in her exactly. old house. Super big. You know, you've got the normal baseboard, but then you've got this little nice finished piece that sits on top, and it adds a little decorative a little profile. curve right. yeah, to where that trim meets the wall. That's base cap. And I had Very an old nice. house, just like Haley did, mm -hmm. and I wanted to emulate it in another room. And I didn't realize that it was multiple pieces that they used to make that happen. I could never find one great big piece that looked just like that. I was always bummed, so I cheaped out and went with something else. If I had known about base cap... I could have duplicated it exactly. Two separate pieces. Yep. So if you're trying to emulate that, that's what you're looking for. All right. How about chair rail? 
This one is surprisingly contentious. There were all kinds of fights <laughs> it's very on the internet, in forums, <laughs> amongst people I've talked to. But anyway, we can all picture what chair rail is, right? It's generally maybe two to three inches thick. It runs around the room, uh, basically about three feet up from the floor. Let's say that's generally what we picture when we right. think about it. And sometimes it's used to top wainscoting. Yeah, and I think... Often we see it in the dining room. Mm -hmm. You know, that's usually where it's living. All right. So the whole idea behind it, we think, is to protect our walls from our chairs. Right. And from furniture that gets moved around. Exactly. Well, the thing is, that's not the case at all. Really, the whole point of chair rail initially, and this goes back all the way back to the ancient Romans and the mm -hmm. Greeks, it was really there to divide the walls into pleasing proportions. It's yes. not even referred to as chair rail until recent times. It's really funny. I yeah. <laughs> it's really all about the visual, and that's the point of it. And another thing that's interesting about chair rail, I wish we had more time to just camp on this, but we don't. Another thing that's interesting, though, I talked about the height being about three right. feet. And that's actually probably the wrong height. You know, if you look around or ask people, that's what you'll get as an answer. Mm -hmm. It should actually be about 28 to 32 inches from the floor. That is the proportion that's going to give your room the best look. Be, yeah. You go too high, it's going to make the walls, make the whole room feel a little well, more you're squat. You're like breaking the rules of those proportions at that point. And yeah, the math of beauty is very interesting. We could do like a whole segment on that. We could. We should. Window sills and window stools. We've got 30 seconds. We told you that you're probably doing these wrong. Window sills, we think of those as the little ledge inside the house. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not it at all. The window sill <laughs> is that little ledge outside. On the inside of your home, that's called a window stool. It's where we're putting all of our junk that we don't know where else to put. Right, and it's decorative. Outside, it's practical. It yes. protects the windows and the home from the elements. Inside, just decorative. But window I'm sure stool. most people are getting that I wrong. have no idea. Anyway, that's all the time we've got. I wish we had more. But we don't. We don't have an eternity to keep telling you stuff, and I'm sure you wouldn't listen for an eternity, even if we did. Well, they might. I can't imagine. If, you, if you're one of those people that would listen forever, <laughs> I probably don't even need to meet you. It's just <laughs> a little weird. Anyway, whatever you do today, make sure paint's a part of it. All of the Repco Light stores are open and waiting to help. I'm Dan Hansen. I'm Haley Johnson. Thanks for listening.